I'm a chemist and I'm a spectroscopist. So I use, I know, I understand the relationship between molecules and radiation. Okay, ionizing radiations actually cause damage to the molecule. They break the bonds. Okay, they can cause suddenly health hazards. And even so, of course, we do use them in the hospitals for the purpose of uh, treating some ailments. And there is a give and take. I mean, how much you gain and how much you lose. So that is an issue there. Non-ionizing radiations do not cause breakage of bonds. They don't cause damage to the molecules. But energy will be absorbed by molecules. If you, whether it is the mobile towers, give out radiation in the microwave regime. Okay, so this radiation will be absorbed by the molecules. Water absorbs microwaves. And it results in increasing temperature. Whenever such kind of energy is absorbed, it results in increasing temperature. So this is, you might say it is a kind of a side effect. The local change that happens in the molecules, one has to see the benefits versus what is it you can do to control the side effects. So in that sense, microwaves, mobile towers use microwaves. So microwaves are absorbed by the body. They may cause local change in the temperature. So therefore, one has to see how the mobiles have to be used. Continuous usage, keeping the mobile onto your uh, neck or these things actually can cause some local uh, problems. Therefore, one has to devise ways and how much is the power, how to increase the sensitivity. The other things one has to work out. So that is not to say the mobile should not be used.